something that I see quite a lot is when uh, technologists are performing inlet, outlet, or pelvic imaging on C arm. It's the the anatomy drifts quite a lot from projection to projection. So let me go ahead and show you an example of that. So here we have our our APPA, and you can see the wire that we have is running essentially uh, 93 across the screen. So when I go ahead and apply inlet tilt, we go this way here, and I go live, you can see that the wire is traveling down the screen. So that's, that's not ideal. When the machine travels to the outlet, again, you can see that the wire is now traveling up the screen. So in order to keep that anatomy centered, the technologist would have to slide the machine north and take an image, slide north again, then you would have to come back, tilt and move, slide the machine south to compensate for the, the inlet. So really, instead of having all these marks on the floor, it's actually better to get your height corrected. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're back in position here. So we have our wire running uh, 93 again on the screen. So what I want to do is get my height at such a level where my inlet and outlet can intersect. Uh, all, almost uh, an ISO sensor, though the C-arm technically doesn't have an ISO sensor. So raising our height roughly to here. So again, our APPA is unaffected, but now when I tilt and go live, you can see that wire is not traveling anywhere near as much. And when I come across from my outlet, again, the anatomy is holding that plane. It also looks as though we can probably make another slight adjustment to keep it even more centered. So let's go ahead and take our outlet there. And swing through for the inlet. And you can see that that wire is not moving at all. So if you're having to move back and forth, rather than move your base north and south on the patient and risk missing your center, fix your height so that your central ray intersects at the object of interest and it's much more consistent energy.